What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the first episode of my new Vainglory series, Champion Guides. Now this is basically a series where I'm going to be telling you guys exactly how I think these different champions should be built and how they should be played. I'm also going to give some background knowledge in each of them so that you guys have a little bit of, uh, basically just a little bit of knowledge to drop them when you're attacking enemies. And uh, hopefully that's going to allow you to combat other enemies a little bit better because you'll know exactly how they're going to be playing their champions. Now the first ability that you need to know by Cruel is his Shadows and Power Me passive. This basically means that if you sit in a brush for 3 seconds or more, you will get a speed boost of 2 as well as any enemies you hit will be slowed by 40%. This is very useful for getting out of sticky situations and for ganking. If you're stuck behind enemy lines and there's a hero in front of you, you can obviously sit in the brush while they don't see you and then once you get that speed boost, you can run away very quickly. Also, if you get a, can get a quick auto attack off, you'll easily slow them and get away without a problem. This is great paired with any type of boots and it's really, really nice when it comes to ganking because obviously you can take any enemy by surprise by sitting in a brush for exactly 3 seconds or longer. So it's a great ability and probably one of the easiest to use. The next ability that you need to know by Cruel is his Dead Man's Rush ability. It's great for bursting down enemies and it gives you a slight health boost which is great if you're in a sticky situation and you think that you can finish a fight if you just had a little bit more health. Now the only thing that you need to worry about with this one is that it has a fairly long cooldown and isn't that useful in long term fights because it doesn't have any long term effects on an enemy. That being said, if you're in a sticky situation obviously you can get out by using it to get some extra health and then using the Spectral Smite ability to finish a fight which I will talk about in the next segment. Cruel Spectral Smite ability is interesting for a few reasons. The first is that it works off of the idea of stacks. Now stacks are very interesting because the longer you send a fight, the more auto attacks you will get on an enemy, and therefore the more stacks you will have. Now for each stack, you're going to have a few debuffs applied to an enemy, as well as a few buffs applied to yourself. So the first thing you need to know is that for every stack you get on an enemy, you're actually going to apply minus 10% attack speed to them and minus 10% crystal power to them. Now this means that over time, they're going to become very, very weak and you're going to become a lot stronger because for each stack that you apply towards an enemy, you're going to get some life steal back as well as any auto attacks past those eight stacks that you can get. Now the actual ability of uh, Spectral Smite is very very interesting because it changes all of those stacks that you've acquired through the battle into one final burst piece of damage. It's great for powering down enemies at the end of a battle and it's probably one of the best abilities that Cruel has. You do have to use it wisely and if you're playing against an enemy Cruel, you're most likely going to want to use it second because that means that you can cancel the regen that the enemy Cruel is going to get. Now when using the Spectral Smite ability, you're actually going to get a bunch of health back and it's great for finishing off fights and walking away with a bunch of health to walk right into the next fight. Cruel's ultimate is From Hell's Heart. Now the first thing you need to know about From Hell's Heart is that it is a skill shot and that means that you have to actually aim it at an enemy and it won't auto target an enemy. Now this is interesting but it does make it a little bit easier because it gives you two tries. Because the sword that you throw at in this attack will act like a boomerang, if you don't hit the enemy on the first try you can actually reposition yourself and possibly get them on the second time when the sword comes back in. Now this is pretty interesting and it has a great ability where it will stun an enemy if it hits them and that's great for initiating. So if you're trying to start a battle, you might want to try coming in for, with From Hell's Heart and then finishing with Dead Man's Rush and Spectral Smite. This is obviously just a suggestion and you guys will find your own order of abilities and obviously those are suited to each situation. For Cruel, you're probably going to start with a Swift Shooter and a Halcyon Potion. And then from later on in the game, you're going to want to start building a Barbed Needle, which is going to give you some life steal, allowing you to sustain through battles a little bit easier. And build your Swift Shooter into a Blazing Salvo to give you a little bit more attack speed. And that's going to allow you to build stacks a little bit easier. And then finally, you're going to want to build a Kinetic Shield, Coat of Plates, Void Battery, and Travel Boots. Now, the two, the Shield and... Uh, the armor is basically just to allow you to uh, sustain through attacks a little bit easier and it's going to make you even more tanky because obviously Cruel, when it comes down to it, is a tank character. Now the Void Battery and Travel Boots are something I recommend building on pretty much any character and the Travel Boots are just there because you want to get around very quickly and Void Battery because Cruel is a very ability reliant hero and that means that you're definitely going to want to, going to, want to always have energy to attack an enemy with. Now finally, you're going to want to build into a Serpent's Mask, which is going to give you a ton of life steal, a Tornado Trigger, which is going to give you a lot of attack speed, and then either a Frostborn or an Eve of Harvest. Now this is very situational. I tend to go with the Frostborn to chase down enemies, but if you're having a rough game, you might want to go with the Eve of Harvest to give you some extra life steal and to make sure that you can sustain it through an enemy attack. 
Now, finally, you're also going to want to build an Aegis. I don't actually know how to pronounce that, but it's that final shield, and it's great for sustaining through enemies' abilities. And then a metal jacket to sustain, to sustain through auto attacks and build those travel boots into journey boots to make sure that you can get around the map very, very quickly. Now, this is pretty much a simple build, and it's nothing too complicated. I know a lot of people will mix it up and have a little bit more specialized builds, but this is just a general build, and I think it's something that works pretty much for all cruel players. I hope that this guide has helped you and that you'll become a better cruel player because of it. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscription, and become a lieutenant today. I'll talk to you guys next time.